Welcome to Alley Cats Weekly, your weekly look at the Indianapolis Alley Cats. I'm Heath Shanahan. After a week off, the Cats attempt to get healthy and are looking forward to hosting the Cincinnati Revolution on Saturday, May 18th. Before we look at the matchup, let's take a look at the stat leaders for the first quarter of the season. Offensively, the Cats have been anchored by Cameron Brock and Keenan Plew, with 28 and 18 goals respectively. Impressively, Plew is also leading the team in assist with 15, with Jared Gravy Payne close behind him with 14, and Michael Ames with 11. Defensively, the Cats have a three-way tie at the top of the D-list. Ames, Travis Carpenter, and Robbie Craven all have four. One of the big stories from last weekend's game was the return to ultimate of Coach Scott O'Brien. After the game, I spoke to OB about his return to the field. I'm here with Scott O'Brien, player coach now for the Indianapolis Alley Cats. Scott, OB, first time on the field in a year and a half. I mean, how's it feel to be out there again? Uh, it feels spectacular. Um, even after a good three and a half hour car ride, um, it wasn't too bad. So uh, it was just great to be back out on the field and, and really to be able to mix it up with the guys and the teammates that I've been coaching all year and even in the last year. It was a blast. Um, even though we lost, um, we fought uh, O line and D line, both fought very well. So um, a lot more positives to take away from this game uh, than, than last game but uh, overall just a lot of fun and I continue to keep on uh, look forward to mixing it up and get our guys healthy we got a bye week next week and then uh, right into Cincinnati we'll be fully staffed at that point so it's going to be exciting really exciting absolutely not only that you know you're out the field again you even got your first AUDL score can you run us through that a little bit yeah um, I was out there with the O-line which was good um, I'm usually a D-line guy but uh, if needed for the O-line I'll just definitely jump in um, and uh, it was more of just a curl cut from Keenan um, or, or uh, the throw from Keenan and I gave him a little curl cut to the corner of the end zone um, but uh, didn't have any fancy spike or anything, just kind of kept it casual, like USA U. So, but it was a ton of fun, a ton of fun to be back out there, and I look forward to it uh, for the next coming weeks, absolutely. Well, from our vantage point, it's back of the end zone, back corner, beautiful grab, beautiful throw by Keenan. Scott, great talking to you. Absolutely. We'll Thank see you, you next week. Looking forward, the Cats host the Cincinnati Revolution in their first meeting of the season at Coons Memorial Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. The Revolution have some familiar faces on their lineup, with their scoring leader being a former Cat himself, Isaac Jeffries. They also include former Columbus players, such as the Kula brothers. The Revolution's assist leader is Chris Powers, who comes into the game with 33. This ends another edition of Valley Cats Weekly. Come on out May 18th at Coons Memorial Stadium to see the Revolution come to town for their only time this season. Join us next week as we break down this week's game and look forward into the AUDL season.